Why use a VPN for mining? Which do I use and why? What is needed? How to set it up in HiveOS? How to set it up in Windows? Those are the questions we will be answering in this video. Hello my fellow miner. The main reason for using a VPN is security. Yes, this is the most cheesy video clip I could find. Nowadays I see a lot of polls being hacked and using a VPN is now a must for me because I'm using a static IP address. Every time a poll gets hacked they can also take all the IP addresses connected to the set poll and now try to see if they can hack those. Of course if you have a dynamic IP address you can simply restart your router which also releases the lease on your current IP address. However if you are running multiple miners you may not actually want to do that and it may be more efficient for you just to set up a VPN. You can of course also use the VPN to circumvent tube blocking and to hide your activity if you live in a country where the state looks at what you're doing on the internet. In case you didn't know, this guy is a spy. I myself am using NordVPN. The reason for that is quite simple, I got it for free. If you go to the address here on the screen, which is a referral link, I'll get a bonus for every 2 year subscription I think it is and there's also a 10% discount for 2 year subscriptions. If I'm very lucky it will allow me to buy a horse one day, which I think my neighbor will appreciate since I live in an apartment. Sucks to be you neighbor living next to a donkey who will own a horse. What is needed? Well, actually just a VPN. I highly recommend a VPN that uh, lets you download open VPN files as it will make it a lot easier in HiveOS. If you have North VPN, then simply go to this page and find the country code that fits the one you want to connect to. In my case it is a Swedish VPN server I want and I downloaded three different files to find out which one is the best for my connection. And no I'm not Swedish. I'm actually Danish, you know that tiny small country with 5.5 uh, million people and 8 to 12 million pigs I think it is, depending on the time of year, most get eaten around Christmas. Anyway, let's have a look at how to set it up in HiveOS. First up you would want to install Stratum Ping. It will be in the description so you can copy paste it. And it is actually quite important that you test the ping every time you switch a VPN. If not, then you may end up with more stale shares than you would actually like. So simply go to the video description and copy the command. Click run command and paste it in. When that is done, you would want to ping your pole. In this case, I will ping FlexPole in Sweden. You can find the command in the description. Go and click run command and then fire off the command. So here we will see the ping without any VPN so we know what we should aim for. As always it takes a bit of time and if you are very impatient I would highly recommend stealing your kids Nintendo Switch so you can sit and play meanwhile. Anyway, when it's done you click and you check. So my ping is around 23 to 24. Now simply go and click the VPN icon and activate the VPN and then try your first file. Remember it needs to be the TCP file. Copy paste your username and password from North VPN and click apply. And then again, wait. Now of course if you have a Nintendo Switch then you most likely also have Legend of Zelda. But Metroid Dread is also quite awesome. Anyway, here we see it has been applied, that is fantastic. Go up and run the ping command again and check your ping as soon as it is done. Which again takes ages. Of course if you have a little knowledge about HiveOS you would just open up a shell and fire the command as that is like a hundred times faster. But then you wouldn't get to enjoy Legend of Zelda. And to be honest the only time you'll actually get to enjoy it is when the kids are sleeping. Now let's check the ping. Okay that is pretty horrible so that one I'm not going to use. Let's try the next one on the list. Note that I copied the username again as you will need to enter the username and password every single time which is quite frustrating to be honest. Anyway, as uh, someone who's half brain dead now I paste them in. Of course I feel like I can speed it up by pressing the refresh which uh, in this case actually worked but that is just pure coincidence. When it says everything is fine you go up and you run the ping command again. 
and you wait again, of course. Waiting is quite important. If you don't have a Nintendo Switch, then I can highly recommend XCOM 2 on the mobile phone. That is pretty awesome, but then you'll forget everything about pinging and looking at the results. It is finally done, let's check out the results. Okay, so that is uh, pretty bad as well. So we're not going to use that one. I copy the username again and go up and try the third one. If this doesn't work, then I'll just download some more and try again. I'm actually not willing to uh, pick anything that gives me more than a maximum of 5 milliseconds more on the ping. That would be quite frustrating, uh, so I'll keep on trying until I find the correct one. Okay, here the VPN was applied super fast and we fire off a ping. Fantastic. And then of course we wait again. Every single time I play XCOM 2 I completely lose time. I have no idea how it happens, but all of a sudden it's 4 hours later and I'm behind everything. Anyway, let's check the ping. This is actually a lot better. This is something I can live with and I think I'll just leave it at this one. If you noticed, I pick a VPN in the same country as where the pool is. And this is on purpose because of course you don't want it to make a huge round trip around the world and give you a very bad ping. Later in the video I show you the difference when you go 50 milliseconds up on Flexpool over a VPN. Now let's have a look at how to set it up in Windows. First you need to download your VPN client, in this case it's North VPN. Install it of course. Yes, yes, just click, click, click. Magic happens as it is being installed. And then click next and yada yada so forth. It's actually quite boring installing stuff and I have no idea why it takes that long. It should be relatively quick, but for some odd reason it takes some time to create a VPN. It could actually be because I'm running uh, different types of applications in the background, including uh, web servers. Anyway, click finish when it's done. And then all you need to do now is wait for it to start up and then log in. Of course. Yet again, that is super easy if you're using North VPN. I have also used Viper VPN, etc. And they are all very nice and dainty and quite easy to use, to be honest, in Windows. So if you don't feel like using North VPN, then just use the VPN of your choice. Anyway, I'll just minimize everything as it's taking up a lot of space and irritates me a little bit. Anyway, I click on Sweden and then I click Connect. And it will just connect to the fastest one, which should also be the very best one. But in case you are unhappy with the result, you can easily go down, find the country you have selected and then just pick the one you want. Anyway, when you have picked the one you want or used the one that it automatically finds, then you need the Stratum ping client. Head over to GitHub and download it. Unzip it with your favorite unzipper. Copy the path. Open command prompt, paste, write cd and paste in the path and then now copy the command from the video description and fire it off. And then wait patiently for it to be done so you can see the ping. Absolutely fantastic. Now let's have a look at the results if you pick one where it's around 15 milliseconds worse than your normal ping directly to the pool. On the left we have without VPN and on the right we have with VPN. The shares done are around the same amount, actually only 14 difference, and you can see that the stale shares on the VPN part is worse than the stale shares without VPN, actually by 0.12%, which isn't that bad, but I could have avoided it if I have spent a bit time more with the Stratum client and found one where I didn't go up 15 milliseconds. Now. If you ask me in my personal, private opinion as a professional donkey, if I use a VPN, yes I actually do mine with VPN. I cannot actually answer the question if you should use a VPN, it really depends on how paranoid you are, and I am quite paranoid when it comes to money and cryptocurrencies. Also, if I actually connect it to the VPN I found here with a very low ping, then I'm pretty sure that the still shares would be even less. And that actually means I would only be losing money on the VPN subscription, which in this case is free for me. Would I use the VPN if it wasn't free? Yes, actually I did, but there I used Viper VPN through Windows and HiveOS. So you can actually easily use Viper VPN or any other VPN 
Do not feel forced to use NordVPN, it's completely up to you. Just make sure they have open VPN files to make it easier for you if you are using high voice. I have seen a few ask where Lama Lame is and he got fired. There's a new guy though over at a new site. Head over there and subscribe. Yes, I split the news out of this channel here as a lot of you guys are not actually interested in the news and a few who are would like me to make even more. So not to spam anyone with unwanted stuff, I decided to move it to a new channel. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And to help me out, share the video with someone you know. Thank you very much and I hope to see you in the next one.